In 2017, Jordan Peele took himself from just being another half of the hilarious comedy duo Key and Peele and turned himself into an absolute horror icon with the release of Get Out, a masterclass in acting and suspense with a truly iconic and historic twist that only serves to strengthen the already fantastic film. The script was also much more than just a spook fest, with plenty of relevant themes regarding race and the way rich, entitled people only give value or ascribe value to someone when they have something to give in return. Peele's 2019 comeback with Us was another really strong horror film, giving us a terrifying story of murderous doppelgangers, this time with more of an emphasis on themes of the duality of human nature and systemic oppression, even if the ending twist didn't exactly stick the landing and some of the dialogue was a little on the nose. Regardless of whatever flaws you can find in those two movies, these movies showed that Jordan Peele has the talent and the capability to transform the genre with one smart, scary, relevant, and hilarious film after another. Which brings us to Peele's latest film. Hi, Anthony here from Awesome Anthony Productions, and today I'm going to be giving you my review of Note. Before we begin, please Please go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, and ring the bell to be notified whenever I post another review. Where Get Out was more of a mystery thriller that turned into a horror slasher film in the last act, and Us was a straight up horror film that had some humor and levity peppered in throughout to make it not completely agonizing and dreadful. If you want to get crazy, we can get crazy. Nope is a completely different movie altogether. Instead of a dread-filled nightmare experience with horrifying visuals and tons of blood and gore and jump scares, what Peele has crafted here is more in line with the classic Spielberg film focusing on the mystery, characters, and story, with some genuine scares and disturbing moments throughout that'll definitely keep the horror films, like myself, satisfied. The film centers around a brother and sister duo, OJ and Emerald Haywood, played by some of the best eyes in the business, Daniel Kaluuya, and Miss Disney Channel and Nick Star turned scream queen and voice actress, Kiki Palmer. After the unexpected passing of their father, a surprise bit of stunt casting that I definitely won't give away, these two inherit Haywood Ranch and are struggling to keep their business afloat. You know, they're animal and horse wranglers for different projects, sometimes they come and film on the ranch, whatever, but it's been struggling in recent years. That's brought OJ as far as to sell some horses to Ricky Jupe Park, played by an absolutely fantastic Steven Yoon, former child star who owns a nearby tourist trap, to cash in on something that happened in his youth that I'll get to a little bit later. But when a mysterious UFO keeps visiting the ranch at night, taking their horses and shutting down all the electricity in the area, OJ and Emerald will team up with local tech salesman Angel, played by Brandon Perea, and cinematographer Hulse, played by Michael Wincott, to get proof on camera and show the world. So many people, myself included, thought they had this movie figured out from the trailer. But there is so much more to this than just another typical alien invasion story. Instead of just giving all the answers right away, Peel takes his time revealing the mystery behind the UFO and what it actually is, letting us discover everything through the characters' eyes, who are incredibly well written and developed. So let's talk about him. Daniel Kaluuya's OJ is a deeply layered character, with pervasive self-confidence issues that carry through the whole story. I meant it when I said that this dude has some of the best eyes in Hollywood. He acts so well through his eyes. Kaluuya dominated Get Out, and became one of horror's best protagonists with his intense, wide-eyed stare that helped you feel every bit of fear and pain behind it. Chris in that movie was a man traumatized by his mother's accidental death and some fears he never moved on from, but still carried himself with enough confidence to where he could hold his own when he was surrounded by a bunch of strangers and creepy white people that wanted to swap bodies with him. It's cool. Bro, how you not scared of this, man? OJ, on the other hand, is also traumatized, but here he's quiet and reserved with a lack of self-confidence that really carries him throughout the film, with the only time he really comes alive being when he's investigating the UFO with his team. His eyes go a long way once again to show the fear and insanity he's experiencing through all of this, and they say more than his dialogue ever could whenever he's talking to his sister about their ranch, their father, or their horses. He has a genuine arc full of growth and heroism, and by the end of the movie, he became one of my favorite protagonists of recent memory. Sorry, minions. <laughs> Kiki Palmer's Emerald is great here as well. From her introduction with that fantastic monologue about the Haywood Ranch and her family's history, which apparently was filmed 14 different times. We like to say since the moment pictures could move, yeah, skin in the game. All the way to the way she hilariously tries to, well, nope out of some situations that anybody with their right mind would definitely try to nope out of. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Palmer gives a performance that can slide from eccentric and outspoken to vulnerable and scared at a moment's notice, all the way around to her being badass, and it never feels anything less than natural. Her arc and her growth from selfish and immature to where she ends up at the end of the film, I won't really say much because it's a bit of a spoiler, ends up being a really great emotional part of this film, 
right along with OJ's arc, and I was definitely rooting for the two of them. Angel is a great third member to round out the main trio, playing a more grounded version of the typical conspiracy theorist, geeky guy that's good with tech that we would see in like a lesser movie. He's much more grounded and down to earth. He feels like a real character. He offers some solid comic relief and is written pretty well, and he even gets some serious and badass moments in the film. I don't really have too much to say on Hulse. Michael Wincott is great and he's a great actor and he does really well with the lines that he delivers. He's just not in the movie all that much and doesn't have that much of an impact on the whole story, so there's not really that much to say about him. Finally, that brings us to Steven Yoon, definitely one of the standout characters in this film. A former child actor that experienced a horrifying and traumatic experience on the set of a sitcom he starred in as a child, Ricky Jupe Park has taken that trauma and turned it into a monetizable spectacle, showing us a man that is only really well adjusted because he managed to bury that trauma down and turned it into something that he can profit off. That being said, he's still a good man that wants to provide for his family, and we see plenty of this throughout the movie and through his interactions with OJ and Emerald, though we also see that he's definitely not as well adjusted as he plays off when we see his cold, dead stare in a few scenes. And the more we learn about that tragic experience he had, the more we understand his character and certain actions he takes throughout the movie. And it actually draws a lot of parallels between what happened in his childhood and what's happening throughout the movie with the UFO. There are so many other great things in this movie. After the great performances and amazing script draw you in, you'll get to enjoy the fantastic Spielbergian suspense fest that Peel's put together here. With a story that holds back just enough while giving you enough to keep you interested and giving you plenty of taste of what the UFO is and what might be behind the mystery before it's finally revealed late in the second act. And trust me, if you think you got it figured out from the trailers, you don't. I thought I did, and I was definitely pleasantly surprised with the twist. But once we get to the last act of the film, and a plan is put into action to fight back against the UFO, even then, Peel and all of his designers, with everything out on the table, they still find ways to surprise you and defy your expectations, pulling plenty of tricks and secrets out from under their sleeves that just make it an incredibly exciting, surprising, and action-packed finale that is very original, but still gives plenty of loving homage to its inspiration. The themes and the message behind the movie really get you thinking, too. With the focus on chasing fame and wealth and monetizing spectacle, offering yet another lens to look at this movie through and add to the discussion and buzz that always surrounds Jordan Peele's filmography. It's also not as scary as you might think, especially coming off of Us. It's not even as scary as Get Out. I mentioned Spielberg a couple of times here and there, and that's for a really good reason. This feels like a sci-fi adventure movie much more than it feels like a horror movie, with plenty of wonder and excitement to keep more sensitive and squeamish viewers engrossed in the film, with one or two standout scenes that are very unnerving and pretty disturbing to think about. One, in particular, is seared into my brain, and I have not stopped thinking about it since I saw it, and how disgustingly, disturbingly, and claustrophobically intense it was. Honestly, I wouldn't even call Nope a horror movie. It's also really funny at times too, which you won't be surprised about if you saw Peel's last two movies or have seen any of his comedy stuff. You'll be getting a call from my supervisor asking how my service was. Five stars, Angel, five stars. That comedic edge adds to the Spielbergian feel here, showing that Peel really is a student of the best types of film, knowing exactly what to pull or give homage to, while still giving us an original original experience that will leave you thinking about it for days afterward. I could keep going, but honestly, half of the fun of this movie is not knowing what's gonna happen, so go check it out, it's great. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this review or found it helpful, please go ahead and leave a like. While you're down there, go ahead and subscribe. You can ring the bell to be notified whenever I post again. In the description, you'll see links to my TikTok and my Instagram. I post videos on there almost every day, along with shorts on my YouTube, related to my content, my pets, or just random memes. You can also check out these screens here to see my last review or just check out my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.